Well, whether you're a pizza diehard or a dabbler, listen up. The Big Book of Pizza is for you. With 75 great recipes, it'll have you making foolproof pies in every style. And here to tell us more is author and Food Network magazine editor-in-chief, Miley Carpenter. Welcome, Miley. Thanks for having me. I mean, pizza, you can't go wrong with pizza. Everybody loves pizza. And this, this book definitely has a lot of variety to it. So what can we find? What can people expect from this book? I mean, book? we have so much pizza in here. <laughs> we did not edit ourselves. We put it all in there. We have sheet pan and thin crust and thick crust and puff pastry and bake. I mean, you can put a pizza on anything. Yeah, uh -huh. and, and Food Network Kitchen has been making pizza recipes for like 15 years. years. So how did you even narrow this book down? Well, everyone started making pizza a few years ago. You know, we were stuck at home, and so we just noticed the search term kept coming up. People yeah. were looking for homemade pizza dough recipes. So we started pulling all this together. We said, we have to do a book. We've done all yeah. these pizzas. We have to put them all together. I have to say, I was one of those, too. I did a lot of pizza so during the pandemic. I did a lot of focaccia. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, and making, yeah, it's become so popular that people love different different kinds of ways to do it but with back to school coming great easy family friendly recipe do a whole sheet, sheet pan, pan pizza sheet pan is the way to go for yeah. any dinner but for pizza I know, especially yeah. what i love about this one too you don't need any special equipment everyone has a sheet pan yeah. um, and this one proofs right in the pan so you make the dough and you just set it and forget it and, okay. and it literally it kind of like magic spreads itself out did in this, the pan. Do yes. this by itself? Yes, it does it by I mean you might need to pull the corners a little but it basically does it by itself. How long did this and have to rest? To go. It's over it's a few hours um oh, and that's it's amazing. Yeah. Okay, so and you obviously you have pizza dough recipes in the book as well. Tons of them, but you can buy store-bought and it's easy, you know, you can also walk into a pizzeria and buy the dough. I think the mistake people make is that when they do that, you really have to let it come to room temperature so you can stretch yeah. it out. If it's too cold, it's a little stiff. Yeah, and like an hour or so, right? Yeah, you really, give it some time Yeah, and it'll be fine. Okay, so we've got this, it's all stretched out, it's yes. got some oil on there, it's The other up. secret to this is that it's sort of an upside down construction, so we put the cheese on first, which is a great way to kind of seal the dough from all the moisture the sauce. Oh. Um, so, you know, we put all that on first and like then that. we put the sauce on top. So I never even thought about why you would put the cheese first, but that's going it, to really, keep it from getting soggy. Yeah, it protects the dough. I mean, this thing is in the oven for quite a while. It's a lot of dough to bake, so it's in there yeah. for 15, 20 minutes and you really want to put a good layer on there. And yeah, then you do a mix of the mozzarella too. Then like, you can go crazy with your sauce. We don't have to do the whole this. thing. It's pepperoni. We like using the good stuff for pepperoni and the stuff with the casing on it. Yeah. Um, Listen, but, you know, any pepperoni will do. And we do pizza nights all the time at my house. The great thing about pizzas, too, is really can put anything on it, which is truly anything. It's just a vehicle for your favorite things. We've done taco pizzas and cacio so pepe pizzas. you put some peppers on there, pepperoncinis on there or something, and yes. then you well, put the some Well, the real secret to this one is the hot honey, right? Yeah. I mean, well, who doesn't love that? It's and I love so that because it's the sweet and the spicy all in one bite. Can you believe this stuff's only been around for a decade? I feel like we've had it oh, forever. Well, what were we just doing like before? How did we live before? I know. <laughs> What's this one down here? This one I love. This is like a penne alla vodka, but in pizza form. I my husband's favorite. I mean, I like adding uh, cream to my tomato sauce. It just too. cuts through the, the acid. Acidity, yeah. yeah. And then we put the basil on at the end. Of course, you don't want to put the basil on in the oven. It gets all kind of black and black. sad. And I know. And then if <laughs> um, kids want to pick it off, they can. Yeah, exactly. Like it's just so easy to grab right stuff. off there. And this one has sesame seeds, which I yes. love. This is ricotta That is spinach. kind of a magical way to get your crust. It, just give it a nice texture. So it's it's all over. It's underneath too. It's just a really, and it, of course, the flavor is great as well. Oh my God! And what's the one tip if you're going to tell somebody who's going to make a homemade pizza for the first time? What's the one tip they got to know? Well, it's about that dough, right? Like yeah, you bring it to room temperature. Yeah, and yeah. and and pay attention. The the dough is the important. I know people think the toppings are important, but no, the dough makes the pizza. Yes, it's absolutely. And should you st you should start it on a hard stove or a hot stove? Yes, does that in matter? fact, if you have a stone grate, but if you don't, you can turn a sheet pan upside down, and it mm -hmm. really yeah. acts like you know get, get it ripping hot. You yeah. want to let it preheat for like an hour at a 500 degree oven, but it's super hot and it crisps, crisps, crisps the, the bottom, bottom of the dough. Yeah, I can't wait to try these. The Big Book of Pizza is out now, so be sure to pick up a copy 